welcome to another special episode of SRV TV. I am, of course, Kristen, and on today's episode, we are taking a look at the Inside Xbox Xbox 2020 event, which will be showcasing a lot of the third party titles coming to Xbox Next Gen System, the Series X, or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, this was announced recently, very recently, I believe. The recording, the day I'm recording this is the same day our, me and my brother's reaction comes up for the first trailer for Valhalla, that's not Street Valhalla, which you should check out. Um, and I do think, I believe, I don't remember or not, we mentioned that the event they're going to be showing full gameplay trailer. I don't remember, full gameplay here. But, yeah, this is going to be exciting. You know, we are a month away from what would have been E3 2020. Um... Jeff Keighley announced some summer uh, Summerfest event with announcements and reveals throughout the throughout the summer, and like Nintendo is still having theirs in the summer, though it may be delayed. Um, EA announced they're gonna have theirs around the same time of what was originally uh, E3 weekend. So this is Microsoft beginning their reveal adon, I guess, because they announced that this is the first of a new. Nintendo Direct, oh, a Direct style series, you guys know what I mean, where it will be, I believe monthly they said, kind of a special inside Xbox where they'll look at different things about the Series X, or it's games, or it's, uh, something other than games, like Game Pass stuff, like each month they're going to have something, I have a Direct of sorts, and it's going to be called Xbox 2020. Uh, this is supposed to be uh, essentially the debut episode of X, uh, the debut direct, as it were, of Xbox 2020. Uh, they even confirmed it will be less than an hour, so that shows me probably gonna be at least 40, 45 minutes. Um, they did announce that um, we will be seeing the world gameplay premiere of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the first next gen Assassin's Creed game coming to PS5 and the Xbox Series X. Um, other than that, there's a lot of stuff. They, they haven't announced you. They haven't talked about it yet. So there's still stuff they can announce or show off in this case. Uh, we haven't heard from Elden Ring for close to a year now. We'll probably get some gameplay from that. Of course, Elden Ring's the big um, the From Software George R. Martin um, collaboration action adventure game of sorts. Uh, after that, uh, well, yeah. For Elden Ring, yeah, that's a big deal. You know, you know, it was a big deal when Game of Thrones pretty much had that. It was, like, just ending and George Martin. It's sad that it leaked, but, you know, it was still a good, a fun announcement, even for those who weren't aware of the leak. But here, I think we should be receiving some new gameplay of sorts. Some form of gameplay, I'm assuming. We'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, probably see more Cyberpunk 2077. Most likely running on Series X. I know for a fact that like Cyberpunk got is now in September. Um, there's talk that the one of the reasons it got delayed was because they were working on the current gen versions. So we're probably going to get more gameplay of 2077. It's already been C Predator has already claimed it's a massive game, so I wouldn't be surprised that they show off more gameplay. You know. I won't be sure I show up more gameplay. Probably something some more exciting. Maybe more of um, Keanu Reeves' character. Uh, there is that funny bit where somebody read the ESRB uh, listing for Cyberpunk. And apparently you can customize your genitalia, which is weird. But I guess, hey, it's the world of Cyberpunk. So, ooh, genitalia switching. Uh, I, I guess. Um, it's such a weird ESRB or anything. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, we haven't heard from Battletoads. I know, Battletoads. That, that's going to be current gen, but we haven't heard that from forever. Hell, Killer Instinct could be announced. Killer Instinct 2 could be announced. Uh, Unveiled in some way, shape, or form. I know there's talk that the guys who work on the... There's been talk for a while that the guys working on the Forza Horizon games have been, uh, are working on a Fable reboot because of um, how successful Horizon Zero Dawn was with the whole open world sandbox adventure aspect of it so apparently we we you know we could get something like that um more gameplay for psychonauts 2 perhaps i know tim schaefer is now tim schaefer's uh double fine is officially a member of the xbox of the microsoft first party family first party developer family now 
So that's going to be interesting to see if we're going to get more Psychonauts 2 news. Man, there's a lot of stuff we can get, folks. A lot of stuff. I mean, what was it? Just yesterday, they uh, unveiled the, like, just yesterday they unveiled, like, this massive DLC pack coming to Mortal Kombat 11 called Aftermath, which has a like, big story aspect, whole bunch of new content from new stages, new fatalities, new other interesting non fate really fatalities, and a unveiling, of, I believe, of the first guest character of Combat Pack 2 for Mortal Kombat 11, which is definitely, I won't spoil it here, but it's definitely... A uh, unique, rather unique pick that I don't think a lot of people saw coming. A lot of people saw other ones coming, but definitely not this one. But they could probably show something from that. Um, I'm not really sure. There's a lot of stuff they could really show. They, they did heavily bring up its third party developers are showing. So we could get a whole bunch of different things. We could really get a whole bunch of different things. A whole, I uh, won't be surprised if we have a whole slew of ID at Xbox stuff. Um, maybe something more about Rare's new, I don't know, it's third party focus, but maybe stuff about that game they showed off, Rare showed off at that, um, at last fall's big Xbox event. Um, I don't know, I mean, there could be so much they show here. I know, like, there's, apparently, there's st the, regardless of the pandemic, they're still on track, like Sony is on track with a, like a holiday 2020 release of their system. So a lot of what they're showing is going to have to be a lot of people to go out their way to get these pre-order these systems. And it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be really interesting to see where they go in those aspects overall. Are you going to nail it? Are you going to fail it? What is going to happen here? I mean, I'm, expect, I'm not expecting much, but I'm expecting a lot at the same time. You know, I don't want to get my hopes up like I did at the Road to PS5 event, but then again, I don't want to get my uh, hopes too high, like with the, what was it, the, what was it? it was that Sony press conference a few years, a couple years back, kind of feeling, you know, just exuberation. Oh, the one they did a couple years ago where they announced Devil May Cry 5, that one, like, is it kind of that levels? I mean, I don't know what we're getting into. I, I don't believe they said they had some, like, not E3, E3 event in next month. I'm assuming since they announced the Xbox 2020 thing, they're going to have a big, their first or their second official direct of sorts, Xbox direct of sorts, will probably have more first party focused stuff there. Like, um, they'll probably show off world gameplay, uh, world premiere gameplay for um, Halo Infinite. Or maybe they'll show world gameplay uh, for Halo Infinite here. I don't know. I know it's third party, I know they did say it's third party focused. I, I think I've said that for a millionth time now. But I'm really psyched. Um, you know, it's been a, it's been a rough, uh, rough, it's pretty mildly, it's been a very grueling, like, half of this year already. And it's this, this, kind, this kind of stuff is what keeps people's spirits and hopes up. So I really do hope um, they deliver in that uh, aspect. You know, I mean, they they have so many new developers they have attached to their um, license. They have a whole bunch more coming in terms of all their first party developers. I know Ninja Theory showed off uh, cinematic tease at the previous Game Awards for Hellblade 2. Um, I know there is there there are some big titles coming in terms for that series. Not only just next gen in general. So it's gonna be interesting to see. Which third party guys they got convinced to show their stuff here today, this morning, as of this recording on this Thursday. You know, I really am curious to see where they I mean, hell, could they show the first trailer for Final Fantasy VII Remake running on Xbox? Now, like, it's still exclusive right now for PlayStation up until, like, like, uh, like a year from the, the initial release date of Final Fantasy VII Remake for PS4, which is like April 10th. So could they show a trailer saying, hey, it's coming to Xbox, here's it, running on Series X, and then like, give a tease of, of a release date? It, it, it could say, I wouldn't be surprised if they have Final Fantasy VII Remake there, and it says something like, summer 2021, you know? Because mm -hmm. that would make the most sense, you know? It says April 10th, you know, summer 2021 makes the most sense, because then they can get right on the bandwagon, now go, hey, here's it running on Series X, 
they may have exclusives, they may have it to where if you just buy the game, you'll get all the summons, not just from not just from pre-orient, but from the first class and deluxe editions as well. That could be a tease of what they could possibly do. I mean, I know it's a bit early to reveal that, to get people's hopes up, but it would be nice for Xbox fans to hear that, hey, it's coming to this. And it would be also nice to see, oh, and it's coming to PC as well, Summer 2021. So that would be a great unveiling as well. I think that would be really cool. Really, really cool. I mean, I'm probably blanking on a whole bunch of things. Uh, they could be showing the new, uh, what the next Call of Duty looks like. There's already rumors about what the next Call of Duty is. I believe they're, it's um, supposed to have a Vietnam setting this time. You know, they could unveil um, Battleground stuff. Or, you know, EA could be holding on to that for their um, not E3, E3 uh, conference in June. You know, uh, I was going to say Mass Effect, but no. Um, you know, there's Star Wars related stuff they could show. They could show more Minecraft related things. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm, I'm really psyched to see whatever they bring. I really am. And, you know, language why don't be a dick is a philosophy I should be taking more often nowadays. It's a phrase I've heard for a couple months now. Pertaining to pro wrestling, but I think it pertains uh, here too. So if I don't like what I don't like, I apologize. You know, it probably didn't, probably not up my alley. It'll probably, it's probably up my brother's alley, but, you know, of course, it's just, this is being filmed in the middle of the week, so of course he's at home with his family. The main reason, like, I'm doing it, the main reason I usually do this on my, uh, you usually see me doing it on his own, just because it's in the middle of the week or my brother's unavailable to come over. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to this. I hope you are all looking forward to this too. I'm, you know, I, I think this is something we all need. I'm hoping for some solid announcements, I'm hoping for some gameplay. Not exactly going to blow my mind, but some gameplay that will get my mind off of everything else going on in the world right now. So, here we go. This is my reaction to the... I don't know what I'm going to title it. I don't know what I'm going to tell my brother to title it. But as of right now, I'm just going to call it the Inside Xbox, uh, Xbox 2020 event. So, here we go. Right on time. Ooh, Peggy 18. That's all for international, dude. It's all I can assume. It's not going to be for kids. Peggy 18. Hey everyone, this is Aaron Greenberg from Team Xbox. I'm excited to be coming to you here live from my kitchen. I'm drinking non stop drinks out of the world's fastest, most powerful fridge. We're moments away from a huge inside Xbox. Uh, first, I want to let you know, a lot of people have been wondering, what are we doing this summer? Well, we're not taking the summer off, working hard. Teams cannot wait to deliver new games, new reveals, new news for you. So it's time new news. To get hyped. New news is Here news. Is today, the first ever Xbox Series X gameplay from our partners around the world. David Baker and Sarah Vaughn, the leader of our partnership team, have brought some of the best developers and creative teams to the table. They're going to be joined by Jeff, Katarina, and Malik. Team Xbox is coming in strong. It's an exciting yeah. day. We know fans have been waiting for this. But also we know you're wondering, what's going on with Xbox Game Studios? You guys have 15 creative teams now around the world. Yeah. You blew us away at X-19. You blew us away at the Game Awards and Hellblade 2. We know you've got more. Of course we do. And with that, I want to welcome the head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Booty, to tell us a little more. Booty! Thanks, Aaron. And hi, everybody. Uh, I want to start by saying that our first concern is really with the safety of our teams and of course their families, and that's why they are all working from home right now, whether it's in Sweden, the UK, Canada, or the US, and I've really been impressed with the ingenuity and the creativity that they've shown to get around some of the challenges of working from home and to keep production moving forward on our great lineup of games. And so. We're excited that we will begin unveiling gameplay from our studios starting in July. Ah! Some from our newer studios like Double Fine, Ninja Theory, and Obsidian. Woo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. So July. <laughs> so <laughs> July. Yeah, and Aaron also. So July is when we're getting the game the studio. Time. It's time to get hyped. Halo's coming. Halo Infinite. You've been waiting. The world's most anticipated game. July. Mark the calendar. Xbox 
So that's where we're getting the official reveals for Xbox Game Studios. It's July. Damn. Show you what Xbox Series X gameplay look like. Let's have a go. Okay, that's great. Let's get to it. Okay, we get it. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's pretty cool. She put it, took, took her gun, took their gun, and used it as a freaking um, like a battering weapon. Oh, ooh, what the fuck? And we got Vikings. I mean, not Vikings. Oh, so. oh, what the fuck? This bullet storm too, or something? Didn't they have this feature in Bulletstorm? What the hell? Interesting. I'm already hooked. I'm wondering what the fuck this is. Is that a not DeLorean? What the hell? This. I'm psyched. I don't know what the fuck this is. Whoa. Bright, bright memory infinite. Right? What you just witnessed was bright memory infinite from Playism, created from the ground up by a single individual at FYQD's. Wow. Program. Developers are using the hardware to achieve their dreams and their nightmares in amazing ways using the power to optimize their games the way they want. You know, higher resolution, increasing frame rates, ray tracing, and yes, I mean, it's game load time. But it's I'd like to know more. For smart delivery, ensuring that fans only have to purchase the game once to enjoy Yeah, the smart delivery, they already brought this up. Buy it on Xbox One X. So, the or Xbox Series, uh, uh, Xbox One X, you're going to get the, 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 the best version, no matter what. expect from our partners this holiday and early next year. And because we read the interwebs, everything you see here will highlight the in-game experience. With actual gameplay captured in it, okay, okay, give you the best okay. sense of what to expect when Xbox Series X launches later this year. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the following dreams being powered by Xbox. Okay, what we got next? The first one was like, cool, give me some Bulletstorm vibes. World premiere. Okay, what we got? Is this Forza? This feels like Forza. Oh, this is smart delivery compatible. Oh no, is this the next grid game? I think it's the next uh, grid game. Looks nice. I keep forgetting they're not. They already said first party is going to be in July. The music looks nice. Yeah, yeah, this is a, a new grid. It's co master. Yeah, this is grid. Damn, there's five of these? Jeez. Dirt. Five. Ebb Software. Wait. Is this Scorn? Oh shit, is this Scorn? Is this Scorn? I haven't seen this game in like years. Holy shit, is this Scorn? 
Holy shit! Is this Scorn? Oh shit! Oh, that's awesome for um, Ed Software. Yeah, I already know what this is. Oh shit, that's awesome! It still looks gruesome as fuck. Looks like, what is it? What did they say? Um, the designer of the aliens wet dream. It looks like his wet dream. I forgot, man. The name escapes me right now. It looks like his wet dream. Oh sh! Oh, what the fuck? Wow, they got fucking second, it was a third reveal of freaking this event. This game looks fucking weird, but I wouldn't mind visiting the, its world. I saw the, I remember the gameplay, like alpha gameplay they released. It's like, it's just all gruesome. Even the weapons look fully organic and everything, too, which is weird. Oh, okay, uh, that, that, that made me want to lose my lunch. Ooh, there it is, Scorn. Wow! That's awesome! Congrats to that software for making it on this. Ah, oh, another one. World premiere. Oh, what we got next? Two planets. No, three. We built order out of chaos. Each trial, each tribulation, we have overcome. Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck is this? It's a fucking space combat shooter, um, or a flight shooter. Okay, so Madden 21 is going to be the first older than me, next show. I was lucky enough to be a part of it this year. Like they say, you have to know where you've been to know where you're about to go. Birds look cool. Birds. Oh, look at the beginning. Simple beginnings. They got to really bring it. Like, I wish I had Chris for here to give his thoughts on this. Upgrade the logo too. There's loads of Mad 21 games and coming soon. And the game isn't just about what you can see, it's about what you can feel. But here's the best news. 
when you buy Madden NFL 21 on Xbox One, you get it free on Xbox Series X. Yeah, I'm smart cool. deliveries. I have it. Right smart the smart delivery system is no pun intended smart. You know. You know, so like if they like if you get for Xbox Series X, Xbox One, they eventually get Xbox Series X. Guess what? You already got for Xbox Series X. Yeah, what sneak peek? It was a snippet, and it looked like last year's game, in my opinion. Oh yeah. So far, I've liked you. Bright every memory. major publisher worldwide is developing for Xbox. And we already have mm. hundreds, hundreds of games coming to Xbox Series X in 2021. The support, it has just been tremendous, guys. I have never seen partners as excited about Xbox. Honestly, Bright Memory Infinite looks interesting. Getting some right Blue Star Mask vibes. So take a look and Dirt. see more of just... the great games that they have been working on. Okay, what we got next? What the fuck? That's some Joker vibes. Paradox, Part 2, World of Darkness. It's a world of darkness. I co-organized the developer. Do you play a... What the fuck is this? Masquerade 2? I think it is. Yeah, is this Vampire Masquerade 2? I mean, I could be wrong. It's looking like it. Night Falls. Yeah, it's Vampire Masquerade 2. I didn't recognize the developers. Cool. It's looking nice. I was just wondering what the fuck this was for a sec. You could do this. <laughs> Vampire to Masquerade 2. Oh, Bloodlines 2. Sorry. Vampire to Masquerade Bloodlines 2. Whoa. Hold 
the sea. That's interesting. Okay, Cola Sea, that looks interesting. It looks like you're just, it's like a first person adventure game. Top-down shooter, nice. Top-down like sci-fi shooter. Looks pretty cool. God damn, it's heavy cyberpunk vibe, but just like visual. Ugh, I couldn't keep on saying it's Visually impressive, the detail. The Ascent. That looks good. Another world premiere. It's a boy. I mean, Sonic Hill vibes right now. What the fuck is this? The medium. The fuck? Some Nightmare Worlds, Holly 2020. Holy shit, I love that artwork Hi. too. Hope you enjoyed the review of the medium, our next gen psychological horror game. We're very excited to announce that we're working on the project in cooperation with Akira Yamaoka, the legendary composer best known for the Silent Hill series. That's why it, sound, it felt like Silent Hill. I was like, why did this. I was like, why does it sound familiar? Sounds like I'm watching a Silent Hill. <laughs> and that's why. Durr. Interesting. Ah, so there's a nightmare world. Hmm. Wonder why. Silent Hill composer is attached. Another world premiere. Tokyo. Ooh, Bandai Namco? Ooh, what we got? Ooh. I mean, of course that's what monsters look like in Japan. The others have arrived. Okay, zombie horse monsters. Can't be hurt. They cannot be stopped. The fuck am I looking at? Till now. I'm Yui Tokusumura. 
Okay. Cool. That's one way to kill him. Ooh, loving this. Ooh. That looks pretty cool. God damn. That's just welcome to the OSF. Odd Strangers Foundation? I don't know. Elite Psionic Warriors 1 mission. Defeat whatever the fuck that is. Exterminate. I love some of the shots where you're just throwing cars and subway trains. Scarlet Nexus. This is all on the MK. Smack reaction. Adeline Studios Group. That's usually the case. Dinosaurs? What the fuck, man? Multiple teams. Any, like left for dead fights? Kill them all. Second extinction. Interesting. Looks like a. Oh my god damn, I ran to the. Ooh, Yakuza! What we got? Yeah, is this, and this is a uh, uh, Yakuza like a dragon, or oh, Yakuza. <laughs> yeah, this is the newest Yakuza game, which for some reason has a number in the in the title of the Western version. <laughs> yeah, this game looks fucking insane. It's a new one. Yeah, this game looks certifiably insane. Ah, and there's Majima. Yeah, this is a Yakuza game, right? Holy shit. Yakuza, like a dragon. That's cool, it's coming to Xbox. It's part of the launch slate. Oh, okay. So it's one of the launch titles. So it's coming to Series X, Xbox One, and PC. So. Yeah, I've seen game players. It looks fucking insane. Okay, yeah, it looks insane, like most of you. I hope you all enjoyed this brief peek at just some of the titles we have. Is that really it? Series X. This is just the beginning. Okay. And personally, I can't wait to get immersed in these amazing games. 
But until then, I'm just going to have to live out that fantasy via custom backgrounds and Microsoft Teams. How about I, I try out a few now? Maybe uh, we'll go into the world of Scarlet Nexus, or maybe I could tear Scarlet up the Nexus. streets in Dirt 5. Yeah, some of the games they showed, I am intrigued by. I am really intrigued. Home office. Oh, wait a second. We've got this inside look at the next Assassin's Creed game. So with that, I'm going to leave you with the gameplay debut of the highly anticipated Assassin's Creed Valhalla for Xbox Series X. Yeah, here we go. Huge thanks to all of our partners for their hard work during these difficult times, and to you at home for joining us. Stay tuned to go behind the scenes with a few of the creators of today's lineup to hear more about their... Nah, I'm good. I'll see you later this summer for even more content premieres and announcements from Xbox Game Studios and our partners worldwide. Thanks so much. That looks beautiful. Oh, barrier amps. Okay, thank God. I was so excited. That was it. I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. Is that no? Is that really it? Two titles command the respect and fandom that the Assassin's Creed series. That's it. Okay, there better be some game more gameplay. Hey, Jack, pleasure to be here. I'm so glad that you're here because I'm a huge fan of the series. After seeing the video that we just saw, I have literally hundreds of questions to ask you. But before we get into Valhalla itself, did I just see new Assassin's Creed gameplay for the first time? Yeah, absolutely. That was uh, directly from the game uh, and all its Viking Age glory. Let's talk about the Viking Age because Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Origins, these took place in antiquity, they were sun-drenched Mediterranean places, and this looks very different, different time, different place, so what do you have for us with the Viking Age? Yeah, so the, the Viking Age... I was hoping for like a gameplay walkthrough, not a snippets of gameplay culture. trailer. Uh, and this time period... Uh, I mean, visually it looks like an Assassin's Creed game. By this very large hungry Viking horde. And at the time, England was a dark age tangle of broken warring kingdoms. So this was an absolutely brutal, pivotal moment in history that gave us the birth of the England we know today. So players can expect uh, to fully live the Viking fantasy in a... I mean, it looks good, eh? Look, it looks it looks impressive, but people. like... All right, so let's let's get a little bit more into this. There was a lot to take in in that clip that we saw. I saw Viking longships. I saw some very mean-looking axes. Uh, previously, we saw a hidden blade. So let's talk about some of the key new features that you're bringing to the table with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah, so our, our hero, Eivor, is a Viking raider who's going to leave yeah, the Viking raider. of Norway for the lush rolling hills of England, uh, propelled by the goal of settling their people and growing a uh, thriving settlement. Now, England at this time is a hostile place. So uh, to succeed, the players will go raiding uh, using their longships and raiding party. Okay. They'll assault giant fortifications and epic battles. They'll have to gain alliances with kings and- Yeah, this feels kings. not so, but like, assassin harsh choices as the leader but, of the you know, uh, Along with uh, that, where we- That's what Origins felt like. like. I know, or just awesome for like for some brutal, people. Uh, tons of enemy variety, dual wielding weapons, 
Uh, we have a new, fresh take on uh, player progression, gear, and weapon systems. We're effectively pushing every single envelope to deliver this incredible Viking fantasy. All of this is just music to my ears. Thank you so much. Uh, so this whole show, we've been talking about the Xbox Series X. We're talking about next gen. So as a creative director, someone creating a huge, epic game, how do you take advantage of this new hardware? Well, uh, Assassin's Creed has always been committed to new technologies in order to push the most immersive experiences we possibly can. And so to have something like incredibly fast loading times means that we can remove some of that friction from the immersion and create a game that's much more immersive. Norway and Dark Ages England are breathtaking living worlds. Yeah, so Stonehenge, able to push them further some the really nice looking landscape shots. This is really I mean, wonderful for us. It's, it's wonderful for our players. Mm -hmm. And additionally, I don't know, I was expecting a bit more, to be honest, in terms of gameplay. We are offering smart delivery, which allows you to purchase the game once and play it on your Xbox One yeah, and the smart Xbox delivery. Series X. That is great news, I think, for all the Assassin's fans out there. They'll be able to enjoy it on the hardware they have now, maybe on the hardware that they are looking forward to getting later this year. Thank you so much, Ashraf Ismail, for joining us and for sharing the That's very it. first details on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I cannot wait to see more. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. Now you're just going to switch to the Manic trailer again. That was it? They were really hyping up that trailer, and I was not impressed. I mean... Okay. So, that was the Inside Xbox, Xbox 2020, their first uh, debut episode for Xbox 2020. And it was good. I liked it. Um, I'm going to keep watching it as I'm, you know, I'm going to keep watching it for a bit. And if they do show anything, like world premiere or something, I'll probably record it. And my brother will probably stitch it together. But, like, yeah, they just went right into, okay, that was it. Okay, now we're going to talk to the developers. So I'll keep an eye on it. But I, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, so they announced that, uh, the their first party um, reveals won't be until July, which sucks, but, you know, it's, first, it's something to look forward to. And the first game we got is for, um, uh, what was it, Bright Memory Infinite uh, from Playism. And it visually looked impressive. Oh, well, I'm going to say right now, everything they should say was visually impressive. Maybe it's for one game, maybe, but no, um... It looked like Bulletstorm to me. It honestly did from, like, the way you were flying across the thing with this wire to how you were doing, performing combat. It looked really cool. Um, there's dragon aspects to it. I don't know. It looked like a fun shooter. It really looked like a fun shooter. Not much else to say on, on that, but it did look fun. Uh, they revealed, Codemasters revealed Dirt 5. Which was, which of course, the Codemasters big racing game uh, franchise, and yeah, it looks like a racing game. It looks, you know, fun. It looks like they're really branching out with different environments. You get to drive in different s s areas. You get to kind of vaguely gave me Forza Horizon vibes. Uh, next, this is the only one that made me pop a little. It really made me pop a little was because uh, I watched Easy Allies, and when they were first start, one of the first like. I I wasn't one of the first, but one of the um, early uh, sponsors they got for their podcast was Ep Software Scorn, which was this uh, alien developer dudes. I forgot the uh, the the creator of uh, the alien designer. Oh my god, his name escaped me, but it looked like it just looked like nothing but that, everything but that, and it looked good. Honestly, it um, it looked good. I it's still something where it's like you're gonna have to, you're gonna be taken back a bit back by it at first. But I think once you get used to it, it's it's definitely a very like visually unique spectacle. Like yeah, I'm happy for Ed Software. You're finally getting that off your hand and on Xbox Series X, which is impressive. Next up was this uh, from Fish Labs. This I call it a space flight action game called Corv Corvus. I hope I, I pronounced that right. 
coming 2021 for um at coming 2021 and frig it looked it looked cool i honestly thought this whole the whole space combat thing that looked really impressive to me that looked really really impressive and i wouldn't mind trying it out i don't know it kind of also gave vague is on the energy vibes too i don't know why uh they talked about madden 21 for a brief second whatever um they showed like a snippet of the gameplay and then that was it and it looked like last year's madden game no offense uh, then we got one from the, from a developer called Out of the Blue called Call of the Sea, where it looked like you're just you're, you're just adventure. It's like first person adventure game, and it looked really fun. I it, unique visual style. Definitely one might try it out. You know, you know, uh, me being a Tomb Raider fan, all definitely gave me some big Tomb Raider vibes, and I wouldn't mind ch uh, checking out one more about that one. Um, they sh yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I, sorry, I, I paused, I skipped. Uh, they showed a new trailer for, a new gameplay show for Vampire, The Masquerade, Bloodlines 2, which I forgot what it was at first, and I'm like, oh, yeah, Vampires, uh, Bloodlines 2, so. Okay, that's cool. Um, looks fun, though. God, that opening creepiness with the whole, like, the uh, whole, like, people smile, forced to smile look, or a Christmas tree. Whew, that creeped me the fuck out, man. I, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's the most not horrifying thing in the world, but it's not exactly the horrifying thing in the world I've seen. But, I don't know. I guess for fans of the original Bloodlines game, I think it's right up your alley. Definitely right up your alley overall. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, the Ascent. Which was this cyberpunk like top down shooter where you're like, um, I guess you're you're part of like a, some renegade resistance trying to make it to the top of the city. And it looked good. Honestly, it looked good. Um, the detail they put into it looks well, nice. All of that looks top notch. And I can't wait. I can't wait. I don't know why I'm trying that one out. It definitely looked, looked like a lot of effort's been put into it. Then we got one for. Well, that was a Silent Hill game, actually called The Medium. It's actually from the developer of um, Blair Witch and Layers of Fear, the Layers of Fear games. And for the most part, it looks very, very, imp it looks, I would say very, very impressive. I thought the audio cues were very, very Silent hill S, and the only final, hey, they got the Silent Hill composer to help them out. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. So it looks like you're somebody visiting these, these barren wastelands, but... But you also travel to like nightmare, like like Silent Hill, like nightmarish versions of it. I wouldn't mind seeing the aspects they go into with that. The the trailer definitely got me hooked. So I was definitely wondering what the fuck was going on. Even that ending, like artwork they have for the official title card, got me like gave me drag me to hell vibes. I mean, I wouldn't mind checking out more. They say it's hot holiday 2020 as well. Then we got the big uh, J the big Japanese action game, Scarlet Nexus from Bandai Namco, where it looks like you're steering these weird alien creatures. Some look like like bouquet flowers with horse legs, horse legs with bouquet flowers, and all sorts of manners of weird, freaky ass creatures and stuff like that. Uh, look pretty good. Uh, well, look pretty good for what you normally get from Japan action games. Definitely like. Have Bandai Namco's prints all over it. Apparently, it looks like it's done being done in house too. So, next up, we got one from Systematic Reaction, which is a sub developer of Avalanche Studios called Second Extinction. So, it looks like a second dinosaur filled extinction event happened on Earth. And I don't know, it gave me some. It's like a four player first person shooter co op game. Where it looks like you're hunting down dino, adventuring through a world of dinos and shit like that. I don't know. I just didn't give me much, but you know, I go around killing dinos, you know, dinosaurs. That's not Ark. So I mean, could be something I look forward to. Uh, then we got the a trailer for the Xbox Series X version of Yakuza Like a Dragon. This is, if it had a number, you would know. But this is the newest title in the Yakuza series. It's really cool. It's coming to Xbox Series X. It looks bonkers as like the other ones. So if you're a big Yakuza fan, this is going to be right up your alley. It just looks absolutely insane. Uh, then finally, we got uh, the gameplay trailer for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I thought it was a gameplay walkthrough. 
But instead, it was a gameplay trailer. Um, based on the visual I saw, uh, it looks like it's definitely Viking. It's definitely Vikings. I mean, it's weird to say. It's definitely Vikings. No shit, it's definitely Vikings. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, there's still a lot of attention to detail. What they have. You be, Assassin's Creed games always have nice attention to details because they have to go off of a lot of historical landscapes and figures and stuff, facts and stuff like that. And this one looks about the same in terms of quality for Valhalla. I mean, uh, dual wielding, the cool looking new hidden blade, which is not so hidden in my opinion, but you know, this uh, being able to do raids on different areas, locations, trying to set, trying to find places to for your your your, um, your tribe to settle in. I mean, yeah, I just was kind of hoping for a gameplay walkthrough. This really, really didn't impress me. I was hoping for, like, an actual gameplay walkthrough. Because I feel like, I mean, Ubisoft may, I think it's mainly because I think Ubisoft wants to do that part come next month with their not E3, E3 conference. Uh, so I think that's where we're going to get the full gameplay walkthrough. They're going to save it for that. So what we got here was fine, but I really, when it comes to Assassin's Creed games, I really got to see a gameplay walkthrough, not just a gameplay trailer. I love to watch your cinematic trailers, they're always impressive. Uh, the gameplay trailers are always, eh. But I always still love the third aspect, which is their gameplay walkthroughs. I really like watching the gameplay walkthroughs instead. But you know, you know, happy to see we're going to one of the top two that people want to go to with number one still being Japan. Um, so with Vikings, that's pretty nice that they're doing that. But that was really it. Um, they're apparently going to be showing more next month, which I'm looking forward to. I like this one. I would say, I would give this about like a B, B plus-ish, in my opinion. Uh, I, I, I'm going to probably stick with a B plus. There was stuff I always actually went, whoa, that looks cool, like, you know, it was cool to see Bright Memory Infinite. It, Corvus looked uh, looked like it looked interesting. Uh, Out of Blue, the medium looked looked like what the fuck. Scarlet Nexus looks like the most Japan Bandai Namco thing I've ever seen. Um, yeah, like Who's Like Jerry looks insane. And while I wasn't impressed with what they showed for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I'm still I'm still psyched for what Assassin's Creed Valhalla is going to show in like a full gameplay walkthrough. Most likely going to be next month. But yeah, about B, B plus for me overall. I enjoyed it. It was supposed to be a, their first direct, quote unquote direct. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see what else they got overall. But that's going to be it. Um, so other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to me more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like our channel just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about video games, and what we're getting this this summer for reveals and all that good stuff, uh, hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to hit that bell icon as well. Let me know what you thought of the Inside Xbox Xbox 2020 event. What's your stuff you liked? What's your stuff you didn't like? What's your stuff you were surprised about? What you didn't surprise about? You know, what is this, was there things you wanted to see? Or is there stuff you're still looking forward to seeing coming next month? What did you think of their first quote-unquote direct? Let me know in the comments below, put down what you thought of my reaction overall, but most importantly, I thank you for watching. And of course, on the next episode of SRB TV, um, uh, we have, of course, we have uh, next episode of Mandalorian coming up to look forward to, and throughout the summer we will, of course, be doing more of the conferences that get dropped, we'll be doing reactions, I will just be me, or be me and my brother, I'll have to wait and see on that, I know Ubisoft confirmed they're having a conference, EA confirmed they're having a conference, but this is not having one, uh, still know when Sony's going to do their big PS, PS5 event, still know about that yet, uh, we still got uh, Jeff Keighley's Summerfest thing, so there's going to be reveals throughout the, throughout the um, summer for that, we still got Gamescom in August, we still got the Xbox Studio Game Studio reveals in July, well, of course, as you saw, we got the Xbox 2020 event stuff coming up as well. So look forward to that. Uh, also, um, if you're a wrestling fan, we also have um, our Money in the Bank uh, pay-per-view reaction coming up as well. So look forward to that too. But until next time, I'm Kristen, and this has been a very Xbox 2020-filled episode of SRB 
TV. So I will see you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.